My name is Tim McCallum, and I am the vocal coach for Singing Chords. I have no uh, control over my uh, respiratory muscles below my chest, uh, which makes my breathing difficult. My lung capacity is about a third of what it was prior to my injury. So, yeah, I struggle to I struggle to breathe, um, especially when I'm lying down. Um, you can probably tell by the way I'm talking to you that I have to take a lot of uh, deep breaths to get out what I want, need to say in the one sentence. So after spinal cord injuries, particularly um, after high spinal cord injuries, what we tend to see is patients have obviously difficulty with their breathing, which then affects their breath support to be able to sing and to talk. If a, a person can't clear their airway, so if they can't actually cough up the phlegm that builds up in their chest, they can get a real accumulation of it and end up with pneumonia and in hospital because of that. Tim has uh, a lot of influence on how his story has uh, come through with where he's been and where he's gone. That's helped me mentally to try and um, lift my game up and also uh, get to a point where I know I'm confident to sing. But we also need support when it comes to funding a project like this. Uh, we need to be able to keep it going and, and it being a regular feature in the rehabilitation unit. I would love to see singing chords therapy group in every spinal cord injury rehabilitation unit across the world. Our singing program should be a mandatory therapy program that people with spinal cord injuries undertake, just as important as physiotherapy, occupational therapy, uh, hydrotherapy. There should be respiratory therapy in there and I reckon the best way to do that is having a singing program.